Hey guys, it's me. So I know you guys have not seen me in a while and I was supposed to post a video after my previous video, but stuff just got a little crazy, but I know you guys see it. My hair is all wrapped up. So I decided to flat iron my hair and yes, it's um middle of the night I was out earlier and I came back and I said flat iron my well my hair has been flat ironed since um Wednesday night but yeah anyways I just had to wrap my hair because I was gonna go to sleep and I think I may still but this thing is a little tight and I was like oh well let me show them what I'm doing well what I've done and it's so exciting because I was looking up um YouTube videos about the straightener that I bought because I have not had a straightener in ooh, um, probably five years about so yeah um, let me see my hair in the wrap very smooth but I'll take it down in a moment but this is the straightener that I bought the um, Remington Pearl Okay, the ultimate salon finish. Seven out of ten is does all this. Four fifty salon heat, thirty second heat up, high grade salon performance. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then um, it's got warranty for three years. A swivel cord. Uh, it locks and everything. I guess I can take it out for you guys. But I um I use it. And I just stick it stuck it back in the box because I just why not keep everything together like that but, um, I was a little skeptical but I've been searching for a while now for a flat iron um, that I could see myself straightening my hair with because I didn't want it to be anything where I'd have to worry about like you know heat causing difficulties on my hair you know heat damage so that something I don't want to go through again and so um, I don't know I was in Walmart and I was looking around and I was picking up a whole bunch of different ones but this one just stood out to me here it is the Remington and um, a big thing that was number one on my list when it came to getting um, straightener was the fact that it needed to be digital so it is um, there is a screen right here which you're not going to be able to see because it's not plugged in. But if you look on the package, let's see if we can find it right there on the package. That's exactly how it looks. And it's got the three little bars on it. I only go up to two. You can go up to 450 like I said. But I started off at 360 And um, it just, it was... Let me tell you, it was doing great at 360, but as I started making my way up my hair, um, my hair is very thick. I had a lot of it, so it's very full, and it just um, needed a little more help, so I went up to the 380, and um, that did it. Now, is I did not do it bone straight. If I wanted it bone straight, then I probably would have had to do 400, 410, like, but I don't even think this does 410 I think it skips the 10 and goes straight to the 20 and I was like no I'm not doing that um I think my hair could handle it because it is just so thick but I was not that worried about it especially because you know it's my first time doing it by myself for one and for two with this straightener and um I just want to take it easy just make it look decent so this is what I ended up with. Um, some people I've noticed, well, there's not very many reviews on this, and which is so crazy is that um, I finally found a review from Remington itself, and it came out on the 28th or 26th or something like that of February, so just a few days ago, about this exact straightener. It's not even on their website yet. It's nowhere to be found. I looked on Amazon for this straightener, and... Well, I wasn't like, I found this at Walmart just randomly. But when I looked on Amazon, because I was like, okay, let me see if anybody has a review on Amazon about this product. And there's nothing there. 
I mean, they're selling it for like $24 to $30, and which is very good. And But they don't even have any in on Amazon yet. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm here ahead of time, on time, ahead of schedule. So, but yeah, I paid, um, it was $24.95 or something like that. And so $25 is what I paid for it. Awesome. But anyways, some people have had difficulties with the fact that apparently it doesn't close all the way you have to really press. But if you realize, let me, like this straightener, it's got floating plates. You see that? So it, it goes in with these floating plates. So when you decide that you want to squeeze it closed like this, they, they'll touch. It's okay that they don't touch when you close them together in the way you guys see it. Like you can kind of see through it, right? Well, when you close, push it in. And you know when you're showing your hair, you are like doing the straightening. So mm -hmm. I also wanted to show you guys it does have the swivel cord. Love me a swivel cord. And it's got a little locking mechanism. So you just push that in as you squeeze it closed and let it go there you go so simple easy not bad and um if you look at the shape it's really nice and slender i like that it's slender and i am not a very good like i'm not good at bumping my hair my hands just don't seem to get the bump right this thing does it for you i mean easy peasy so I was excited about that and it's got a little place for you to put your fingers on both sides so you don't have to worry about that so when you're straightening and you need to touch you can you can this thing oh my gosh spiral curls just put it in pull and twist spiral curl oh my gosh yeah excuse me I know I can't sing but it was a crop. It was a song esque moment, but loving this thing. And um, I don't know, cause I was really scared about it with the um, it's got two screws, but there was no snagging, no anything going on with it. It just was working really smooth, heated up in like it said thirty seconds. I feel like it heated up in less than thirty seconds, more like. 15 seconds and you know I was very pleased it's the s35 excuse me s9500 in um, Pearl Pro I mean speechless love it and they're one inch and it, apparently the Pearl Pro well, at least I found one that said it was a pearl and it's got like actual crushed pearls in it and it's um, in the ceramic plates and this has ceramic plates as well but um, I would think if they call it pearl that they also mean that you know they have the same crushed pearls in it and very few people I've noticed has the one with the white rim on it because when I was looking around a lot of them had the straight black with the pink in the middle and I'm sorry I'm not a pink person I have a little bit of pinky red on stuff now but I'm not like pink kind of person so I'm very pleased with this and I just put it back in my bag that it came in and in the box but I know what you all want to see is if um, this straightener does what it should and let me just tell you while I'm putting this up that um I have no I really had no issues I did go through my hair um two times because um the first night I straightened it it straightened fine but I put um rollers in it was it yes I put rollers in it and the next day I was just like Ugh, I cannot walk outside of this because I must have done something crazy with those rollers so I just went through and I really just focused mainly on the ends I guess and just pulled it down and curled it under all the way. And I went all the way through. And there wasn't these itty bitty sections. They were pretty hefty sections of hair. 
it was straight like not a problem so I was happy about that and then I um, just bumped the ends and I walked away um, I wish I had taken a picture of it, but I didn't and I should have taken a picture of my hair earlier today as well but of course I did not but I also want to show you it gives you on the instructions which you can put your hair type like based on your hair type that you should put it on and like I said I had it in the um the the normal to easy to straighten hair but if I really wanted my bone straight hair I would definitely have to do the thick just because my hair is thick it's not it's not hard to straighten it's just thick so the 400 range you know and up but it's not bone bone straight but it is uh, very nicely straight and I just wanted to give you another example of this and I'm trying to hurry up because I'm feel like I'm going over time but yeah there's the little bar setting that it has and I usually keep it on the two I've never gone up to the three I like the two setting so if I ever decide to straighten my hair again which I'm sure I will since I like the straightener so much that um but trust me I'm not gonna be constantly straightening my hair especially because winter is pretty much over in a few weeks and I don't know about you guys but I like to enjoy my washing goes when I don't have to worry about it being completely dry but that was that and let me take this down but let me just tell you I'm just happy I was able to take that wrap thing so I don't have a wrap cap anymore that thing is long gone or torn up or something and so I'm taking my glasses off and I got some new ones they have little yellow in them and they're metal now so I have to be really careful I realize that after the fact but I need to be really careful but yeah let me get this all down shake it up a little bit trust me there's a lot of it coming down and it's very full of body very full and like I said and I didn't even like do much to it so and it likes to curl like I can just take it and use my flat brush I like my flat brush it was cheap even though it's pink it's cheap and you see it gives that nice curl to it and I've been wearing it to where my front is pulled to the back so I just comb it down in the front And then I take my hair. Then, because this is just like an easy, quick style, just flip it back and pull it down. And there we go. And then I'll pin it like right here to make it flatten out a little bit more. And so, I just have a gorgeous do, you know? Yeah, I'll put a few clips in it so that you guys can see. Not like I'll just pin it there and then pin this top piece down. Of course, I'll usually use bobby pins, and I'm using these silver pins. But yeah, it's just kind of got this like little simple little pompadour ish kind of thing, and the rest of my hair is just out for all to see. Um, I gave myself a little bit of a trim um, this winter, so yeah um but it's not that bad okay so here it is right here and i guess i can try to do this from the back from a long little story it's right below my bra strap my bra strap is right here I hope you guys can see this, honestly. But, yeah. So, it's below the bra strap. This is a little below the bra strap. But I'm enjoying it. Um, today I had it like this, except I pulled this back and I rolled it. You know, kind of like you do a pin curl. I just rolled it and I had it in the back. It wasn't off to the side, it was directly in the middle in the back. 
moved it in the pink curl. So it was like this in the back, just with some bobby pins. And then the front is looking like this. My friend actually thought that I um, cut my hair. She thought I was like angled and stuff. And I was like, no, I didn't. But yeah. But if you look, it is so smooth. It's, in my opinion, very shiny. And like I said, I didn't make it bone straight. So you see as I'm pulling it through that it pops back up. So it's not completely bone straight, but it is really nice now. And I can see myself if I made it bone straight, it would be like this. Okay. Which I think is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But I was not like worried about bone straight. And I think the body does me good, especially because... You know, I've been dealing with my curly hair, so I'm used to just a little bit more anyways. But I'm enjoying my straight hair, you know. And it took me barely an hour to do. So, I'm excited about it. But I'll put, I guess, some more information in the description box um, to let you guys know everything. Um, and, yeah, I got it from Walmart so, mm -hmm. good stuff before even the professionals have it online. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good night.